Abraham was the first Hebrew. He was born in Mesopotamia. One day Abraham was praying and God spoke to him. He said that one day you will make a great nation. Therefore Abraham traveled to Canaan where the Sumerians were with all the Israelites leaving Mesopotamia. One day God made a covenant with Abraham stating that as long as he and his followers worshipped and obeyed him, that their descendants would live to go to Canaan. After Abraham agreed with God, he told him to kill his son for a sacrifice and wanted to be protected on their journey. Abraham was loyal to God and did as he was told. When he was about to kill his son, God stopped him and told him it was a test to see how loyal he was to him. Moses was one of the greatest leaders ever in history. He was born to a Hebrew slave mother, and he was sent off in a basket in the Nile River. The Pharaoh's daughter found him and raised him as her own. When Moses grew up, he, was found, he found out he was a Hebrew slave, so he traveled to Egypt to convince the Pharaoh to release the slaves. With the amazing powers that God gave him, he was able to convince the Pharaoh, and the slaves were set free. The Exodus began and Moses led the Israelites to Mount Sinai, where he received a message from God called the Ten Commandments. God made a covenant with Moses, saying he would lead the Israelites back home safely, but Moses would die, never making it back to the Promised Land after 40 years of the Exodus. After Moses died, David took over and became their leader. David, as a young boy, was asked to play music for King Saul to calm him. The legend of David is David and Goliath. David was the smallest of son of Jesse. God chose him to become the next king for Israel. In David's free time, he wrote songs and poems. During the time period, the Israelites and Philistines were not getting along. The Philistines had many giants living in their land. The biggest was Goliath. He dared a man to fight, and of course it was David. In the end, David defeated Goliath. As he was ruling, he brought the twelve tribes together. David ruled for forty years. Solomon was re the respected son of David. Solomon was known for being very peaceful. He made his people obey and pay for the magnificent holy temple in the center of Jerusalem. He was known for the tale of two mothers. One night, a mother's baby died, so she switched her baby with another woman's child. She saw her baby, and they both went to Solomon to decide whose child it was. He told them they will cut it in half and share it equally. The true mother said, no, she can have, it. She can have the baby. Then he knew that the true mother... That was the true mother and gave the baby to her. He was a great leader.